The controversy over the closure of the Charterhouse Bank continues to suck in more parties, the latest being the American government. Just a day after Finance Minister Huru Kenyatta was grilled by Parliament's Departmental Committee on Finance over the closure of the bank, U.S. Ambassador Michael Ranibaga weighed in on the matter. Uhuru told the committee that Treasury had recommended the reopening of the bank, but in his rejoinder, Ranibaga insisted that the bank should not be reopened as recommended by Uhuru. The information is with the government of Kenya. All the relevant agencies and ministries have the relevant information. Chatterhouse Bank was closed amid claims of money laundering and tax evasion, and Ranibaga claims reopening it as recommended by Treasury would be encouraging impunity. The U.S. connection is very clear. We want to see reform transparency and accountability in Kenya. That means fighting corruption, it means fighting drug trafficking, it means fighting money laundering. Both Central Bank and the Kenya Revenue Authority officials, who have already appeared before the committee, have stated that there is no case of tax evasion or money laundering against the bank. What I would like to see happen is that the alleged perpetrators behind these abuses um, be, uh, be uh, dealt with according to the law. Formed in 1996, the Chatterhouse Bank has been under statutory management for four years now. Andrew Ocheng, Citizen Live at 9.